is a quick run through of how Finn Daily works. It's basically just an email editor that lets you pull in live data from your accounting file, from banking connections, and even from Zapier. So here's a run through. It's pretty straightforward. You can check it out at findaily.io. The crux of it, you build a little email and you insert placeholders, kind of variables for these data connections like a list of outstanding bills or your checking account balance, that kind of thing. You can set up any number of profiles. It's kind of like, you know, an accounting file or something like that. This is your dashboard that'll show a log of any emails that have been sent. I've already got my integrations set up here. You got QBO, Plaid for banking, Zero, and then Zapier. You set your email up to send automatically whenever you want. You set what time of the day you want it to send, the time zone they're in, if that matters, the subject, and then what you want the reply to email address to be. You define your recipients. The real party trick is your email template. So on the left-hand side is where you build out an email, and then on the right-hand side, you've got a live preview. So over here, you can change your theme, insert your own logo, change the font, all that stuff to tailor this message on the right-hand side. But I'm gonna show you how you build out your own custom little email. So this is as simple as can be. You can customize this to be whatever you want. Let's say we want to start this with the checking balance. So checking balance. At the top right, you've got all of your variables here. So you got QBO, plaid, zero, and then some generic variables. I'm gonna pull in the checking account balance. This is a single item, not a list of data. And I want the, let's say the available balance from my checking account. Scroll down to checking, available, and currency format, and insert. Now you'll see there's a little placeholder here for the variable itself, and on the right-hand side, it's pulled in the live data in the preview. I'm gonna make this a little bigger, so I'm gonna to toggle it to a heading, and let's throw the credit card balance in there as well. Same integration, I'm gonna pull it in from Plaid, insert, make that a little bigger as well. Now you're gonna tailor this to whatever the recipient wants to see. Maybe they've got some accounts payable problems, so it'd be helpful for them to see upcoming bills that are coming due. So I'm gonna hit QuickBooks, we're gonna pull in a list of data. I'm gonna to toggle this down to unpaid bills. Sort it by due date. Direction is ascending, and then let's grab the first 10. I'm gonna insert that there. And now you'll see it's created a little area here where we can insert attributes that we wanna display for each bill. So it says, for each unpaid bill, do this specific thing. I'm gonna click QuickBooks again. And for each bill, I wanna see, let's say, the vendor name. I'm gonna insert that, maybe a dash. The amount due, set that to currency. You'll see on the right hand side here, it's updating with the actual bills. And then maybe we want to put the due date in there as well. So I'm going to go vendor or just due date and date format, insert. So on the right hand side, it's pulled in all the live data from the file. If this email were to run at this instant, it'd look just like this. We schedule this to run every day when it runs tomorrow. It's going to pull in live data, send out the exact same format. A couple other odds and ends you can do here. If I go into my QuickBooks integration, I can pull in specific accounts. So if you wanted to reference an account balance like total AP, total AR, ask my accountant, something like that, you could do that. You could even pull in specific customers. So if you got problem customers that maybe frequently have unpaid balances, you could use this as a way to monitor them. And then you've got a few generic variables you can pull in here too, like recipient name, recipient email, that sort of thing. Because on the recipients page, you can define any number of recipients. This could go to 10 people. And when you use the recipient name variable, the email that each of them received is gonna have their own name up at the top. Now, one more thing. You can get a lot of great stuff from your accounting and banking connections, but you can get anything from Zapier. So let's go over to custom variables here. Let's create a custom variable. This is the catch-all for anything else that you want to pull into these emails on an ongoing basis. Let's say for cash planning purposes, we wanted to pull in the estimated payroll for the next pay run. I'm gonna say estimated payroll, set this to a number and save it. Now currently there's no value assigned to it. If we go back to integrations, down here in Zapier, you can click this button to opt into the Zapier Fin Daily beta. And that has two things. It has an action that lets you set a custom variable value. So if you run a Zap and it sets that custom variable value, you could set that to run every morning or whatever you wanted. You also have an action that triggers before every email delivered. So each time before an email is sent, you can use that trigger action to go out and pull that updated value from wherever it lives. Whether it's an estimated payroll or the weather forecast for that day or a list of tasks, literally anything you wanna pull into this email on an ongoing basis, open questions, tax return status, whatever it is, you pull it in via Zapier 
And then when we hop back to the email template, you're gonna see under your generic variables here, you've now got a custom option for estimated payroll. Pretty wild, right? Kind of the ultimate email digest for your clients. So that's FinDaily, pretty excited about that. Something that I needed myself and that I'm gonna get great mileage out of. Check that one out at findaily.io.